Now to extra depth and perspective, Border Patrol agents in El Paso are dealing with a record number of migrants, 113,000 so far this year, a 58% increase over last year. As we come closer to the uh, ending, the lifting of Title 42 slated for Monday, more migrants are arriving at the border telling agents they are hearing it directly from smugglers that the law is about to change, claiming it will be easier for migrants to enter the U.S. ABC 7 Solo Signs rode along with Border Patrol to see what they're dealing with, and Solo says it was nonstop encounters from the moment he met with agents. The sun is barely over the Franklin Mountains and Border Patrol agents are slammed, taking migrants into custody. This video was shot on my cell phone. The time is 6.30 a.m. and the van transporting undocumented immigrants is already full. We are over 113,000 encounters already. Uh, we're talking about a 57.8% increase compared to uh, fiscal year 2021. In less than 45 minutes, Border Patrol agents have encountered about 14 migrants. This little group right here, we've asked them for their nationality. The majority are from Mexico, and only one person is from Honduras. It just gives you an idea of just how busy Border Patrol agents are every day. Alguien que tenga algún padecimiento médico. These and other migrants crossed using the dark of night as concealment. Agents say migrants hide while they wait to be picked up by smugglers who'll take them to a stash house. Agent Rubio tells me before, migrants and smugglers would use landmarks like restaurants, gas stations, or stores to wait for a pickup. Nowadays, everybody has a cell phone, so most migrants have cell phones, and we have, we have encountered situations where the migrants are texting the smugglers, letting them know where they're at so they can get picked up as fast as possible to avoid apprehension. Agents asked us not to show you their faces to protect their investigation, but they did share what their questioning revealed. The intel uh, advised us that this was going to be the area where the, where the driver was going to pick up those uh, migrants. And as you can see, we have pretty much activity here for a pickup ride. So well, essentially what we have is we have uh, migrants who are waiting to be picked up. Definitely, definitely. It's a, it's a hot area for migrants to get picked up. In fact, those smugglers told agents exactly where the pickup point was under this Sunland Park Bridge. Could, could they make it from here to the horse table? Oh, yeah. The migrants fled but were eventually caught. Agent Rubio says all undocumented migrants apprehended are processed and fingerprinted. Based on what the migrants say, Border Patrol then determines if they will be detained to make their case before an immigration judge or quickly expelled under Title 42, the health order that gives agents the power to send them to Mexico if they believe the migrant poses a health danger like during the pandemic. Title 42 is scheduled to be lifted this Monday. These agents say migrants and smugglers are well aware of that. What we have encountered in the, in the field, it's uh, migrants that have asked us, when is the law changing? When is it going away? So the criminal organizations, they're already telling them stuff about the ending of Title 42, if it's ending, if it's not ending. Hey, 10 4, what's your 20? The health order has become a political flashpoint. Republicans want to keep it to prevent an anticipated surge. Democrats say the health order violates asylum seekers' rights. Agents say they've learned from the 2019 surge when they were overwhelmed transporting, carrying, and processing large groups of migrants. Like myself, I'm an EMT, so I was there doing medical screening for kids, for migrants. Now, we are better prepared. We have the centralized processing center. We do have our border patrol processing coordinators. We have 95 of them right now to help us uh, process the migrants and get them in the correct immigration pathway faster. And that was ABC 7 Solo Science reporting. Those processing coordinators are civilians, which will allow agents to remain in the field instead of having to process people. That combined with better technology and infrastructure makes agents hope they'll be ready for a new surge.